August and a little late I know but I wanted to share with you some of my empties that I went through in July and let you know what I thought about them and whether or not I would rebuy or just totally bin. Um, some people really enjoyed my June empties video so I'm hoping again that people will enjoy and find great products to try um, this from this empties video as well. So I've been keeping a stack and most of the products in here are all sort of beauty cosmetic kind of uh, related. I was actually thinking today that I might start to do some lifestyle and food and drink ones as well because I've actually had some really cool um, products and wines and different things that we've tried this past month. So if you're interested in that, do let me know. So first up, I'm going to talk about this shampoo and conditioner. And I think I've mentioned these before. In fact, they probably featured in my last um, empties video as well, or at least one of them did. They're a shampoo and conditioner, and they're from a company called, as best I can make out, the company is Biothin and Collagen, which appears to also be the name um, of the shampoo as well. I bought this in our local, in one of the sort of Irish discount shops called Deals. So they were $1.49 a piece, which straight up is a really good price. I've been using this shampoo and conditioner since the start of the year, so since um, probably about mid-January, and I've noticed a major difference in the strength of my hair, as has my hair dresser. This is a thickening shampoo and conditioner, and I've mentioned loads in previous videos that I have really thin hair, particularly um, around the scalp and on the top, um, and this has really, really been making a huge, huge difference. I love this shampoo. It smells great, goes on great. Um, they're 400 ml bottles, so they last. I'm probably getting between, I would say, six to eight weeks out of um, you know a bottle each. Um, sometimes I mix it up with some other shampoos and conditioners, so I'm not using this exclusively all of the time. Absolutely love these. I will say though, I have repurchased these a number of times and will continue to do so, but I'm finding it harder to actually find them in deals. So if you're near deals and they have a stock of these, please let me know where it is because I definitely want to buy more. Um, I've been to my local one a few times and they haven't had it or they've had just the conditioner and not the shampoo, which is always very annoying but definitely if you're looking for a thickening shampoo at a great price that's one euro 49 a piece so less than the three euro for the two products um the next thing is this was a new one for me so this is a feminine intimate deodorant um i had never tried one of these before and again i was in deals looking for the shampoo and happened to come across this um it's Beauty Formulas Feminine um, Intimate Deodorant, a delicate fra fragrant deodorant for freshness, comfort, and hygiene. I have to say, I actually really did like this, and I will be repurchasing this. Um, again, it's for that intimate area. Um, I, you know, something we don't talk about as ladies or as girls or women, um, but I don't know a woman who doesn't take her own deodorant and sometimes braid up a skirt or sort of down her trousers or, you know, just to dull any sort of odors she might be worried about or anything like that. Um, so that's when I saw this in deals, I thought, sure, for $1.49, I will try it out and see how it goes. Um, really nice, really sort of um, subtle fragrant, did definitely keep me fresh, um, used it in the morning, not every day, obviously, just on you know, days I knew that I was going to be particularly active or it was particularly warm. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend um, this product as well. I don't remember seeing it in other scents. I think in the store I went to it was just this one, but I have seen it in loads of other stores and chemists and those kind of things in a multiple of uh, different ranges, but this is just the one that I've tried, which I would definitely recommend. Next up are some makeup removal wipes. Um, I think in my last video I mentioned to you that I don't necessarily use these as makeup removal wipes. Um, I am really bad at removing my makeup at my time. I know that's something I need to work on. But I use these more so to wipe my hands um, when I'm putting on my makeup. I don't use brushes. I don't use a foundation brush. I use my fingers. That's I have foundation brushes. I have tried them. It's just for whatever reason, I just don't like using them. 
Um, so I use these to sort of clean my hands um, when I'm putting uh, or putting on my makeup. So I know not their actual intended purpose. Um, but I also do, of course, on occasion use them to remove my makeup. Pure have a number of different, um, I suppose, fragrances or options in their makeup removal line. This one was fine. I particularly didn't like the um, the scent of it and that kind of put me off a little bit. This is the Age Defiance one. Um, again, I bought these in deals. They were selling three for $149. Um, I will definitely be repurchasing some of these, but just not this particular scent. I didn't particularly like it. I don't know what, it doesn't actually say um, what scent it was, but I think because there was shea butter and witch hazel in it, I just didn't like, it was kind of very nutty or something. Um, I didn't like the scent, so it did, I won't be buying this particular uh, one. Um, then we have the Sanex deodorant. Um, Sanex is not a brand I would normally buy for deodorant. Um, for no, no specific reason, just when I went to buy deodorant uh, the last time, this I think was on special and there was really no other choice. Um, definitely, yes, I liked it. The smell wasn't like amazing or anything like that. It was very unoffensive, very unassuming, you know, definitely 24 hour production, I would say so, yeah, most definitely. Um, yeah, I would repurchase this, but it wouldn't sort of be like top of my list in terms of, oh yes, I must have that product. Um, but yeah, good product. Um, then we have some toner, the Garnier um, Skin Naturals Simply Essentials Soothing Vitamin Enriched Toner. Um, yes, I do like this. I prefer their rose water one, but yes, um, did the job. Um, wouldn't necessarily say anything amazing about it. It's a nice toner. It's very reasonably priced. Uh, as I previously mentioned, personally, I prefer the kind of the rose one, which I'm currently using at the moment. But yeah, I would I re would repurchase this. I couldn't necessarily say um, a bad thing about it. Then we have the Oile Refreshing Facial uh, Cleansing Gel. So um, this lasts a 150ml bottle. This is the normal to dry combo skin one. Um, I sort of bought this, well, I bought it because I like to use a, a cleansing gel. I sort of alternate every month is either a cleansing gel or something with a little bit more of an ex exfoliant in it. I just feel that my skin sort of, you know, if I use the same product, sort of cream wise and um, facial cleansing wise all of the time my skin just kind of I don't know just gets used to it and it doesn't really work for me anymore so I like to alternate or uh, alternate um, I bought this one because it had aloe vera and cucumber extracts in it and I thought therefore it would have a really nice scent as well to go along with that unfortunately it didn't as in it didn't have it didn't have the scent I expected it to have but it didn't have a bad scent and um, I would repurchase this, but probably not for a number of months. It obviously it washed and it cleansed my face. I didn't have any major breakouts, but I did notice a little bit more of a kind of a breakout situation, particularly on my um, left cheek. So yeah, it was good. It was nice. Again, very reasonably priced. I don't remember specifically what I paid for it, but I expect it was probably somewhere in and around like four fifty or something like that. No more than five, I would say. Um. Oh, so I obviously went through a lot of makeup wipes in July. Um. These ones are the deep cleansing ones, again from Pure. I absolutely loved, loved, loved the, these ones. Great smell, really like them, really refreshing. And on the sort of the hotter days, I actually kind of use them as like a sort of like a cool down wipe as well. Put them in my handbag. So really, that's probably why I went through so many wipes um, last month. But yes, I would definitely be repurchasing this particular pure deep cleansing one. Again, all of the packs that I have purchased all have 25 wipes in them. So next, okay, so not exactly like cosmetic, um, but slightly cosmetic or sort of loosely lifestyle related, I use the Andrex Aloe Vera with Vitamin E Toilet Roll. Okay, so I'm a bit weird when it comes to toilet roll. I have, you know, 
I probably spend a little bit more in toilet roll than most people would. I like a really nice, decent toilet roll. Andrex and Kitten Soft are probably among my um, sort of main favorite brands. They bring out a great range, really soft. I love their sort of, you know, they do the aloe vera one and they do a shea butter one, which is amazing. Really, really beautiful, really soft tissue. Um, absolutely love it. So if you've got a sensitive tush, I would definitely recommend this uh, for you and your family. Okay, so next down here, um, what do we have? We have another deodorant. So this is the Nivea Antiperspirant Invisible for Black and White, and it says 48 hours. So I haven't tested the 48 hour theory because to me it just seems a bit weird not putting deodorant on every morning. Uh, so I can't say wholeheartedly whether it lasts 48 hours, definitely does last the 24 hours. Um, in terms for the black and white, you know, sort of the white mark protection, yes. Um, even so far as I went so far as to spray this on the outside of my black jeans, just to make sure, you know, does it actually, you know, does it do what it says in the tin, and for me it did. So yes, I would definitely repurchase this again. I do love Nivea products, um, and you know, I like the scents and things like this. Um, so yes, I would I would definitely rebuy that again. Probably on the scent front m before the Senex. Even though somehow I feel like Senex is better for you. I don't know why that is. I'm a bit weird. That's just why. That's just the way it is. So the next product I want to talk to you is the nail drying spray. I absolutely love love this stuff. I was using a one that Boots used to do, I can't think of the name of it, it was like a purple and silver spray bottle, but this one for me, hands down, much better. Again, I buy this in deals, but I think this pretty label is available in a few other places as well. Again, it's 149, it's um, quick drying, really, it doesn't have that sort of oily texture my other one did, and it says that it gives an extra shine. Hmm, I'm sort of a little bit on the fence about whether or not it actually adds extra shine. Can you, do you think my nails are extra shiny? I don't, you know, as a result of this, I don't think so. Um, but yes, if you're looking for a quick drying nail spray, this stuff is fantastic. The one thing I will say about it is, only spray it in well ventilated areas and do not spray it after you've painted your nails in your car and then spray it because it will totally knock you out, which is often what I do. I'm so bad at that. I paint my nails last minute when I'm in the car just before I go to a meeting, spray this over and yeah, the whole car is filled with the toxic fumes from it. So don't do that. Um, okay, gosh, we actually have a lot in here. So the next thing I have is this oily, uh, even and smooth, combo and oily light day cream. So again, I bought this in deals. They sometimes have these sort of, um, uh, I suppose like really well-known brand names in it. As you can see, this was only a small tube. It's like 20 grams. Um, so perfect for, you know, your handbag or holidays. I actually use it as a daily uh, cream for a while because I couldn't find, you know, sort of the one I normally use. And um, it was good, yeah. Nice smell to it. It lasted, this 20 grams probably lasted, I'm going to say about four, maybe five weeks. So, you know, didn't need to use a lot of product, didn't notice a significant difference to my skin, although in hindsight, during that same period, if you remember when I talked about the facial wash, I did say I noticed a little bit more of a breakout situation here, not much, like we're talking maybe like two or three pimples here. This could have been the reason for it, because it's the only other sort of like new product I think I was using during that time, and this says for com uh, it's combination and oily skin, so I'm not entirely sure did that give me a little breakout. Maybe it didn't, but I'm just, you know, just putting that out there. But yeah, good product, good price. So this was, I actually finished this, I think, a while ago, and it just kind of sat on the counter because I didn't like it. This is the Derma V10 Skin Essentials Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizing Cream. So I bought this in deals. 
because I've only discovered deals recently as in at the start of the year, I've been kind of like trialing a lot of their products because pretty much all of their products are only $149, so it's an amazing price. Um, and every so often I pick up a product to see if it would replace something that I use, you know, sort of main, more mainstream. Um, these are one of the ones that I probably wouldn't be using, no, I, not that I probably, I won't be using again. This is their moisturizing day cream for anti-wrinkle, as I said. Um, and the reason I won't be using it again is I found it too oily and it has such a high perfume scent. Like, it's unbelievable. Like, this jar is empty and it's probably been empty for, I would say, the best part of a month, if not more. And it's really, it's still really potent. And I didn't like that. I don't like the smell. It reminded me of this perfume. Years ago, my mother used to wear this perfume called Cache. She absolutely adored it. Personally, I didn't like it. Um, and it smells not exactly like it, but very, very similar to it. Very potent. Um, so no, I won't be repurchasing that. Now we've got some skincare. So this is the Nivea Sun Invisible Protection Transparent Spray. You will see there is a touch left in this. Um, it's This is from last year and it's kind of turned. It's sort of gone like smelly. So we're not using it anymore. Hence the reason it's gone. But I did want to say really, really, really good um, uh, sunscreen. Great directional spray on it. It's invisible. It's non-greasy. This is sort of at 20 medium. We, As you can see, I'm transparent. So is my husband. Although he takes a tan much better than I do. But I, I have two colors. Transparent or lobster red. That's it. Unless, of course, I fake tan. Um, so I need really high coverage. So 20 for me, that would be like baseline. Normally we would do like a 30 to a 50 because I just become a lobster. I would love to be one of those tanned goddesses, but no, it's not me. But yes, really great. And I know they also do like a kid version, but to be honest, I often wonder, except for the, the factor, the, the high level of the factors, what the real big difference between like kid and non-kid sunscreen is. Maybe if you're you know, a sunscreen, you know, expert, you could let me know. Okay, what have we got next? Um, okay, so this is a little, I suppose, lifestyle one as well. This is a Broken Shells Grapefruit and Lemongrass candle. Um, I haven't actually finished the candle yet. It is burning behind me. See it here? Um, I got this as a gift mm, from a friend, uh, I think in June. And it is gorgeous. I haven't burnt it all the time, but it's such a great scent and sort of lasts so well that the room kind of always smells of it uh, because it's out of its little box. But I love the packaging. Like, Brook and Shoals do amazing candles and they have so many great scents, so many great scents as well. And I love the fact that it's an Irish product. So if you're looking for a great gift to give to somebody, like a housewarming gift or a birthday gift or a just because gift, something like this is lovely because they're great scents and they have a whole different range um, of them as well. So definitely keep that in mind. Okay, wow. Still a few bits to go. So let's talk about these two together. So these are the foundation and the ooh, cover stick or concealer that I use most often. I've spoken about Catrice products before and I think even this foundation before. Um, I use the All Matte Plus um, in 020 matte Nude Beige, sorry. Love this. It says up to 18 hour coverage. Um, yeah, again, I'm gonna call a little bit of, I'm gonna call it out in that. I don't get 18 hours of coverage out of it. And maybe that's because I'm not a makeup artist and I'm pro probably not applying it precisely as it should be. But I definitely get, I would say, a good 8 to 10 hours out of it. And then after that, I would definitely be reapplying. Um, but it's still an amazing our foundation. I'm wearing it right now. I love it. Um, it goes on really easily. I feel like it gives me good coverage. It's not, I would say like it's medium, maybe medium to light coverage. I wouldn't say it's like a heavy, heavy, heavy one. And I most often use it with the Catrice cover, um, all round cover stick. And I have the 020 Vanilla. Um, I love Catrice products. I, you can see there, I've used it down to the last. I would have a lot of pain.